Hello lovelies, I hope you're all doing well. Today I am going to be doing the ink rainbow tag that was started by Ginger Peachy Pens and in her tag she shared all of her favorite inks in each color group and I will be doing my own version of this. I was tagged by South Shore Paper and she said the most loveliest things about my channel and I am so happy that she tagged me in this fun video idea. For this tag, I wanted to select inks that I actually own full bottles of and ones that I used at the very least a quarter way through. My top favorite color, the one that I've probably inked the most, I started off buying several samples of this color and i'm so surprised that i love it because it is a dry ink but somehow in my pilot pen it just works really nicely and it is a kiono oto ink called ochi guiro i know i'm gonna butcher the name but i love this ink so much and I was fully convinced I wasn't going to like this ink because of how dry everyone says it is and I tend to prefer water inks or at least average inks but this one I ended up using one sample and thought maybe the sample I got was just a good batch or something I ended up ordering another one and it just works so good in my favorite pen and I really love this color it is such a high shader and such an interesting brown and it has a nice black sheen to it and it just looks so elegant this is my version of a black ink i'm not a black ink girl but this is the darkest i'll go and this ink has been living in my top favorite pen which all of you guys know is the pilot custom 823 right now i actually have it inked with inaho since it's springtime and i wanted something kind of yellow or brighter <laughs> but still in my muted fashion I'm going to attempt to sort of follow the rainbow, starting off with the only red that I own and the only one that I truly love. I have purchased a couple bottles of reds, but I just didn't love them enough to actually keep them. So I ended up giving away samples to friends, but this specific burgundy color is called the Velvet Ballet, and I feel like this one has a very unique color to it it's a beautiful muted burgundy with a lot of shading but it has an unexpected silver shimmer to it i really love this color so much and the next shade i chose for the orange family would have to be another ferris wheel press and this one is a gorgeous orange with such a nice warm glow it reminds me of like a fireside or like i feel like it's the fall season reflected in an ink color and i will use this year round whenever i'm feeling something a bit brighter and warmer it's just a super cozy color that i've already used more than half of this bottle and i know i'm gonna end up buying another one once this bottle is through Now for the next shade, I don't own any yellows at all, but to me this would probably be the closest yellow that I would choose, and it is from Wearing Yule. I really love this color. This is more of a sort of a wee color called Song of the Reed, and this one has a lot of nice chroma shading to it that's very subtle. It has some light tan, brown and a little bit of green to it too and some red as well it's a very unique color and i feel like i've shown these inks many many times but they truly are my favorites 
the next color is another I would consider a yellowish color and it kind of goes into the greens but this one is the ever popular Pilot Hiroshizuku Inaho and this one is a beautiful color and such a nice wet ink. I love this color so much. I will ink my pens over and over with this color. I always have at least one pen inked with Inaho and it is usually a cartridge filling pen because I don't want to waste this color since it is discontinued so I am being very precious with this ink for my green category I was so torn because this is my most used green the sailor Amamoyoi and I only have half a bottle left of this but it's not exactly a true green it is a green that has a couple different shades to it it's purple and a little bit of gray and this is the mood ring of green inks and it's just a fun color to write with and this next green is a last minute edition and it is called peter moss from ferris wool press i wasn't going to include it in this video but it really is one of my favorite green inks this one was a gift from a dear friend and i really love this color so much i have been using this color a lot this one f almost falls into that category of like sort of what I would consider one of my black inks. It is a nice deep green with some black shading to it. Okay, so I'm running out of space since I added Peter Moss last minute and I already spaced out in my head the inks that are already chosen. But my next color would be in sort of my blues category. And this one is inked a lot in my Yoseka refresh pen and it is Sailor Ink Studio 162 and this one is such a color shifter you'll see here it is almost a turquoisey blue but when it dries it showcases some pinks and some lavender colors the last two both actually have blue and purple in them and they are from the Sailor Manyo series. The first one is Nareshiko and this one would be my perfect blue. It is like a blueberry blue with some purple dual shading to it. When I think of blue for some reason I always think of this color. This is my go-to always. It writes really nicely and it's a fun color. I feel like they're all fun colors to me even though they're muted. And this last color is so special to me because it is my very first ink bottle. I feel like doing a huge swatch of this but I'm sure you guys have seen this color many times. It is a well-loved color and it is Neko Yanagi from the Sailor Manual Collection. I know it looks very similar while they're wet, but they do dry differently and Neko Yanagi has a more purple and pink tone to it versus Nare Shiko, which is primarily blue with hints of purple. I will show you a close up once these are all dry and while I'm waiting, I'm going to add the header to this piece of paper so that I can remember it is part of the ink rainbow tag. I'm going to try to be super, super careful. <laughs> Here is a close-up of all the colors and you can see here that Ochi Guiro has a little bit of green to it as well. You can also see the soft shimmer from Ferris Wheel Press and you can see Autumn and Auburn's has a few colors in there too with some nice shading. Wearing Gill is a fun color as well that is showing a bit of gray in here too. It's such a weird color. 
and this palette here shizuku looks a lot darker than what it really is let me write this so you can see how it typically looks like in my pens i tend to use fine and extra fine nibs so inaho appears lighter than what it's showing here but even then you can see how nice inaho shades and the different colors it brings And this one, the Sailor Ama Moyoi. I have such a hard time saying this one, but you can see all of the shades in this color. And you can kind of see the black sheening that is in Peter Moss. And I feel like it even has a little bit of red to it too. And the Sailor 162 just reminds me of the sea. It is a pretty greenish blue color. Nareshiko was actually the second color that I purchased. I tried Nekoyanagi and I ended up buying majority of the Manyo line because I was just blown away by the chroma shading. The person that I'm tagging for this video, which I'm sure she's probably received a ton of tags, is Leanne Likes. She is 100% swatch queen on youtube i love the way she swatches so i feel like she would be perfect for this tag anyways thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next one